Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Daniel. This is Morning Tea. How's everybody doing? Cheers. Mm. It is Monday, Monday, December 19, 2011. We are a week. This Saturday is Christmas Eve. So are you guys ready? Have you done all your shopping? Uh, I was fortunate enough to have my friend Maddie visit for the weekend. So we got to go down to the Irvine Spectrum here in Orange County and do a little bit of shopping. It was crazy out there. There was people everywhere. But nothing better. You know, I, I, I avoided Christmas shopping for a long time. But there was nothing really better to get me into the spirit than to actually being out there in the middle of everybody. I, I know for a lot of people getting into the traffic and getting into the, the parking lot wars and uh, shopping. But, you know, there was something about going out and getting coffee and sitting down. We sat down by the ice rink. So if you know the Irvine Spectrum, there's the big carousel. And then there is an ice rink that they have for the holidays. We had such a great time. And then I actually bumped into a friend of mine that I hadn't seen in a little bit. And we chatted for a little bit and saw people skating. And that really got me into the mood. Okay, yes, not the shopping part. Although I have to admit, I got some really cool deals. But it was really nice to be just part of the holiday. So I encourage you to be part of the holidays. Um, with that, I have to talk about trust. And actually, I, I asked my friend Maddie this morning, uh, if there's anything that she got from this weekend and anything she learned and she said to trust herself and we did a lot of work this weekend uh we, we lit candles and we uh did some readings and we really focused on her energy and in trying to heal and i think that's one thing that we forget a lot of times is that we need to trust ourselves uh yes mediums and readers and people it's, it's all really great and, and we we offer an opportunity to guide you and we offer a chance to push you in the right direction or open doors that you maybe thought were not available to you but in the end even I I mean I go to readers too and I have friends that do readings for me in the end I have to trust myself and I have to make sure that something within me feels right and that my energy is connecting because although the people and not just that although people around me friends family might be pushing me in a direction that I don't feel ready to go to if I'm not ready, there's no point in going because I'm not going to do the best job that I possibly can. And that means personal, uh, professional, either way. I've got to trust myself. And I think that's something that I, I forget. And I'm going to put this on me. Just take it off for you guys. I'm going to put this on me. Sometimes I forget to trust myself. I forget to trust that the, the, the time is not right. I forget to trust that a certain person is not right for me. I don't trust myself and I go by my, my feelings and I, well, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. I go by my need to. I need to advance my career so I jump into a project that I think it's going to advance me, although I had a feeling that it's not going to work. And then we, I do it and it just doesn't go well. Although, let me, let me put this out there, although it's all part of the journey and my ending goal is my focus. I can avoid some of the mishaps if I just listen to my gut feeling, if I just trust myself to know that something didn't feel right. I could date somebody for a while, and yes, there might be a lot of experiences that I will learn, and there's be a lot of things that I'll pick up from it, but what was the point of going through all that when I could trust myself and know that that relationship wasn't right? Mind you, when it comes to relationships, aren't we all just a bunch of fools when it comes to love? So let's put that out there. So. Um, I'm not going to make this too long today because I, I want you to trust yourself. I want you to trust that you can do all this on your own. Thank you for watching Morning Tea, and I really appreciate you coming. But a lot of this information you have within you, a lot of information you have it inside of you, that, that we, and I'll include me in that, that we are able to help you get some of that out. I totally dig it and appreciate it, and I'm glad we, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm glad that I can be there for you. But... All of this morning tea has also become a, a, a lesson, a, a lesson tool, a, a learning tool. I'm sorry, it's a learning tool. It's how to use all that I say to you so that you can start adjusting things so that you can trust yourself and learn to guide yourself in the right direction. So, use this today. Today is Monday, so trust yourself before you go asking a hundred people if you look good in that dress. Trust yourself if you're already asking people. You probably don't look good at it. Before you ask a hundred friends, and I'm exaggerating, whether this person is good for you to date or not, you probably already have doubts. So listen to yourself. 
um, if taking a certain job, if going after a certain role, if, if doing something just doesn't feel right, that you need to start asking people, then trust yourself that maybe something is not right. And, and just ask yourself, why doesn't it feel right? What's what's missing? What's What am I lacking here? What should I think about before I continue? And you will find your own answers. Now again, uh, I appreciate people coming to me and, and yes, whatever I can do to help with, with whatever service I can provide for you, I'm glad to do it. But know that part of it is teaching you to trust yourself so that you can grow and that at some point you will trust your own instincts better and you will become your best advisor. I hope that helps. With that, um, artist expressions. This goes out to all my artist friends out there. Um, and not because you're not practicing, even if you're not a practicing artist, what this tells me is that today is Monday. Um, haven't you haven't thought about a gift for somebody? How about making a gift for somebody? How about creating something for them that only only they will have something unique that only you know how to make that they will totally appreciate. Maybe you are a painter and you haven't painted in a while, and you've thought about what am I going to give people for my friend? You know, if you are a painter and you haven't painted in a while, and your friends know how great you are, if you took a canvas and painted a white a line across it, I'm sure they would love it because that is from you. And if you signed it, it's something unique that only you created. If you are in a relationship and you're a, you play guitar, how beautiful would it be to give a, a somebody you love a, a, a demo of a song that you wrote for them? That would be such a beautiful Christmas present. You know, it's a simple thing. It's, it's trust, your artistic, trust that your artistic expressions are good enough to give away as gifts. Because you're intelligent. Hey, what a great way to start Monday. We are intelligent people. Use your intelligence and your artistic expression. Combine them both. And man, that will set you on fire. That will set you aside from other people. If you lose your intelligence and your artistic expression to put it together, you can create some really beautiful things. So um, keep that in mind, guys. Well, with that, I just want to say um, I had an awesome weekend. Uh, again, my friend Maddie from San Jose was here visiting, and she got here Friday night. She's leaving this morning. I'm, I'm going to miss her. We had an awesome weekend. Uh, we walked a lot. We talked a lot. We did, we did readings, we did candle uh, sessions, we did a uh, sing star last night. We cooked together. She shared my kitchen and that was awesome. I don't often get to share my kitchen with somebody, but we shared it and we talked and we had a great time. We fell asleep watching ghost shows at night and it was just awesome. Maddie, I love you and I'm gonna miss you and I, I send you with all the best energy and all the best love. I, I know that you're going to be well. And, and remember that everything we talked about, I'm sorry, I've got fruit flies in my apartment. I always have fruit flies in my apartment. If you have an, an idea how to get rid of fruit flies in your apartment, please let me know. So guys, have a great Monday. Enjoy your day. I'm going to go out and have some breakfast with Maddie before she goes. And I will see you guys tomorrow.